Help? We are marooned on a desert island. If I would be stuck on a desert island and I, I could, and I only had five foods what, what, that I packed, what would they probably be? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Now that Dr. William Lee has teased us with the promise of his essential island survival foods, the anticipation is palpable. I can't help but wonder what these five vital items could be, each carefully selected to sustain life in the most extreme conditions. Let's have lunch. But before we crack open those island rations, let's take a closer look at the man behind the pics. Dr. William Lee isn't just any doctor. He's a renowned physician and researcher who's dedicated his career to unlocking the secrets of food as medicine. He is not just your average health expert. He's a trailblazing scientist with a passion for unlocking the secrets of optimal living. Years of groundbreaking work have shown him the incredible power of what we put on our plates. Now, armed with his extensive knowledge and expertise, Dr. Lee knows the right bites can make a world of difference. So, with his expertise firmly in mind, Let's get back to that deserted island scenario. Skipper, do you think we should abandon ship? What are the top five survival foods Dr. Lee would choose? Well, thinking about what I like and thinking about what I would eat uh, and what's good for me, uh, I would say green tea would be one of those things because I, I really enjoy green tea. By the way, side uh, footnote, matcha, which is the whole leaf of green tea powdered up, has been found by researchers to kill breast cancer stem cells quite amazing. Um, those are the baby cells that help that help the cancer keep going back. Um, but does so much other as well as so anti-inflammatory, good for uh, uh, psoriasis and lowers stress as well. So that's number one. With green tea being the first item on Dr. Lee's survival list, we've just scratched the surface of its incredible health benefits. Now, let's delve even deeper into the wonders of this antioxidant-rich elixir, as Dr. Lee shares more insights into how green tea can boost our well-being and aid in island survival. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it, if you can subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Green tea actually has been lowered, lowered risk of colorectal cancer, okay, uh, uh, particularly in women. And, uh, and what's in a, in a cup of green tea are these polyphenols, e.g. CG. And when you drink it, it gets in your bloodstream. Why? Because the blood vessels are carrying it. And now your blood vessels loaded with this cancer starving stuff. Mm. These little tumors don't have a chance. Wow, Dr. Lee, that's a fascinating breakdown of green tea's health benefits. From boosting your brain power to potentially fighting off serious diseases, it sounds like this island staple packs a serious punch. But hold on, folks, there's more to this green brew than meets the eye. Dr. Lee has even more surprising benefits of green tea to share. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this powerful beverage and discover why it might just be your new island best friend. Why should we be having more green tea in our diet? What's kind of the fundamental properties that it's got? Green tea has polyphenols called catechins. They help to fire up our brown fat to burn down harmful white fat so they consume fuel. When fat goes down, your metabolism will actually naturally rise at any age, even middle age people. And by the way, you're also burning away harmful body fat packed inside the tube of your body and eventually it will also start to affect the fat that you can see in the mirror. I do recommend about three cups of green tea a day. That's where the good stuff starts to happen in your body. Tea leaves or tea bags can actually be used over and over and over again. We don't actually have to throw it out and get a whole new pot. Just put some loose leaf tea, hot water, and you can sip that all day long and you'll probably have more than three cups over the course of a day. That's a fantastic tip, Dr. Lee. Reusing those tea bags is a great way to get the most out of your island resources. But with four more survival foods to go, we're thirsty for knowledge and maybe a bit peckish. Let's not waste any time and get cracking on the next item on Dr. Lee's Island All-Star List. I will mention food even if you burn me at the stake. Number two, dark chocolate. So um, most people don't realize this, but dark chocolate is made with cacao, a lot of high cacao, 80% or more. Uh, the cacao part is a plant-based food. So although there's plenty of stuff you can put into a candy bar to make it less than healthy, the higher the cacao content, the healthier it is for you. Dark chocolate, anti-inflammatory, um, uh, helps to calm uh, the blood vessels. Also just um, generally emotionally calming as well. It actually improves depression. Um, so uh, that's the second one. Just when you thought dark chocolate couldn't get any better, there's more to uncover. 
Dr. Lee has shared the remarkable benefit of dark chocolate in regenerating stem cells. But wait, there's even more to this delicious treat. It's almost as if Dr. Lee is planning to live on this island forever. With the incredible power of stem cell regrowth. Up next, let's dive deeper into the astounding benefits of dark chocolate and why it might just be the perfect companion for island life. Do foods stimulate stem cells? And the answer is yes. It turns out that studies have been done where if you take um, high ch chocolate with high flavanols and make a hot chocolate out of it, and you drink it just twice a day, two cups a day, for 30 days, you can start by measuring your stem cells, and, and this is from 16 subjects, and you can make the stem cell levels go up. This is two cups of hot chocolate, of high flavanol hot chocolate, just twice a day. By the way, all of these patients had cardiovascular disease. They had documented blockages in their arteries, in their heart, and they could get more stem cells going. That is a small study, but really interesting to think about. A larger study, 20,000 people in Germany, showed that those who ate 7.5 grams of chocolate per day lowered the risk of heart attack or stroke by 39%. What is 7.5 grams of chocolate? It's about three chocolate chips. Got to be dark chocolate. Not that much. And you know, it's, by the way, I want to say it's not the dairy in the chocolate. It's not the sugar in the chocolate. It is that natural chemical in cacao. Fascinating stuff, Dr. Lee. Who knew a little dark chocolate could be such a powerful ally for our health? Making it clear why it deserves a spot on his list of essential island foods. Let's not get too distracted by the chocolate stash just yet. Now, as we move forward, let's find out what other surprising pick awaits us on Dr. Lee's list. Stay tuned to discover another powerhouse food that Dr. Lee would choose to have by his side on a stranded island, because the next food reveal might just be a game changer. Now for a nice midnight snack. I happen to love, um, if I could, if I could uh, uh, be on a desert island, I'd want to have a food, you know, I would love to have a juicy peach, a ripe summer peach, one of my favorites. Um, uh, and yeah, okay, it's pretty sweet. But I don't worry about the sugar because, you know, a fruit has fructose. It does have natural sugars in it. But more importantly, it's got all these other things, the fiber, the skin of the fruit. It's got ursolic acid, all these other delicious things. So I consider uh, a peach, a, a beautiful ripe peach to be one of those treats that I love to eat. Dr. Lee has given us a fascinating insight into the history and benefits of peaches, even sharing a sweet tip about the yellow variety. But let's be honest, folks, Dr. Lee's passion for peaches is pretty contagious. It seems like this fuzzy friend might hold a special place in his heart, wouldn't you say? But there's more to this delicious fruit that he loves so much. Now, let's delve deeper as Dr. Lee continues to share his passion for peaches and why they hold a special place in his heart. Hey there, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fruits. This is a peach, one of my favorite summer fruits, juicy, you can smell the fragrance. The peach actually comes from Asia. Uh, actually, it was transplanted and transported along the Silk Road. And it's got chlorogenic acid. This is actually a bioactive that uh, actually does a lot of things. It um, cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It actually helps to protect stem cells, your health defenses. Also good for gut health. And it's also got a good amount of dietary fiber. Uh, but the interesting thing about chlorogenic acid is it actually helps your metabolism by fighting body fat. So you can activate your good fat and fight your bad fat using chlorogenic acid. Plus it's just a juicy, great fruit to select during the summer. What you wanna do is you wanna smell it and it should actually smell really good. And by the way, yellow peaches actually tend to be a little bit sweeter and juicier than white peaches, but white peaches are also delicate and great. Dr. Lee's insights into the wonders of peaches were truly enlightening. As we wrap up our peach segment, it's time to move on to the next intriguing food item on Dr. Lee's list for his Stranded Island Essentials. Culinary masterpiece! Fourth, blueberries. I love blueberries. Uh, blueberries do a lot of things. The dark blue of blueberries actually is a natural dye called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins lower inflammation, good for psoriasis, and raise your immunity, which is good to protect you against all kinds of infections. Um, and cancer as well. And so I, I, I love blueberries. And by the way, the frozen blueberries have the same amount of the good stuff, those polyphenols, as fresh blueberries. So, you know, if you want to make a get, get frozen blueberries and put them into your smoothie, that's just as good as picking them off the bush um, uh, fresh. So 
you know, like, don't worry about like what the source of, you know, those are the weeds if you want to get into that. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for that excellent tip about frozen blueberries being just as nutritious as fresh ones. Buying frozen blueberries is a good way to always have blueberries on hand. Now, let's delve even deeper into the health benefits of blueberries and discover more about why this superfood is a must-have on his list. Stay tuned. Uh, blueberries are a food that definitely boosts the immune system. It's uh, in young people as well as older people. Uh, uh, the, the, they boost the natural killer cells, which is really cool. Dr. Lee has shared some incredible insights into how blueberries boost our immune system. Up next, he's going to reveal even more fascinating health benefits of this powerful superfood. Let's continue exploring the wonders of blueberries with Dr. Lee. Just by eating like a cup and a half of blueberries um, uh, uh, a day, you can uh, elevate your uh, T cells by like 88%, okay? Um, and athletes that actually eat uh, blueberries regularly, they just walk around with a higher level of immunity to begin with. Doctor, Lee has enlightened us on how blueberries can benefit our T cells and overall immune health, plus some fabulous tips. Now, we move on to the final item on his list. Let's find out what this last essential food is that Dr. Lee would bring to a stranded island. Don't hit you with that pot! And then, you know, probably the final thing that I really enjoy, I like snacking on nuts. You know, I like tree nuts. Um, I would say I like um, cashews I like to snack on, macadamias I like to snack on, but I, I really like all kinds of different uh, types of nuts. It's a great way uh, to um, take the edge off of your hunger between a meal. It's just to get a a couple of handfuls uh, or a handful of nuts and just a snack on those. Let me tell you how powerful nuts are. Uh, there was a study of almost 800 people with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer. That's colon cancer that's spread in your body. Okay, it's really serious. And um, they were getting treated by their oncologists. And the research study found that those people with stage three colon cancer who ate two fistfuls of nuts a week, seven days, okay, had a 57% reduction in mortality. So it's not a swap for cancer treatment, but just eating those nuts, feeding your microbiome, getting those healthy plant-based omega-3s, uh, lowered inflammation, jacked up your immune system, uh, uh, controls blood vessels, uh, feeding tumors. I mean, you know, you can't argue against the power of something like that. Plus, I love the taste of all those foods. So those would be my five. Wow, Dr. Lee. That's an impressive list of benefits from just a handful of nuts. From potentially fighting cancer to boosting our gut health, it seems like these little powerhouses pack a serious punch. So, with all these incredible advantages laid out, we've finally reached the end of Dr. Lee's Island Survival, Food Picks. So the field of food as medicine is evolving to show us how what we eat can not only make us healthier, but it can even be a matter of life and death and cancer researchers are now discovering just how powerful our foods can be. But Dr. Lee's journey into the world of food as medicine doesn't stop here. There's a whole treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be explored. So, stay tuned for more fascinating insights from Dr. William Lee as we continue to unlock the incredible power of food. That's a good idea. Mom, Mom, that's that's a good idea. idea. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Next, check out more of our videos on stem cell regrowth. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.